One pager gives you plenty of flexibility in how you get updated data from your source file out of Project or Excel and up into your existing visuals, and we're going to cover the ins and outs here. First, let's cover the difference between a one pager project view and a snapshot. A project view is how you refer to the one pager document. When you first create a new project view, you'll notice on the one pager choices form that you're asked to choose a snapshot date. This is a date stamp, yes, but a snapshot is also like a slide in your one pager document, and you can add more slides over time and click back and forth between them to animate change that occurs from one snapshot iteration to the next. A snapshot in one pager is sort of like a tab in an Excel file. You have the option of creating a new tab in an existing document at any point. Let's look at an example. I've created a sample project view for the sake of the demonstration that is illustrative of something I might need to present on a weekly basis to the same audience. They will expect me to come in week after week and present the updated version of this chart. If I navigate to the View tab in the ribbon, you'll notice three snapshot navigation buttons in the upper left. My previous and next buttons are grayed out, but once I add another snapshot, I'll be able to click back and forth between the two that I have to allow an animation of what's changed from one report iteration to the next. I also have a List All button that allows me to see all the snapshots I have accumulated and manage them if I need. I can delete any snapshots that are no longer necessary or have been inadvertently created, or I can change the dates of the snapshots. Before I add a snapshot, I want to note the right boundary of the time axis is at the end of June in 2019. Let's say that I've presented this visual to my audience today, and now I'm essentially going to forget about it until I need to meet with them next time. Over the course of the next week, some change will occur in my project file. This change is illustrative only, and will come in the form of durations being changed, which will also modify end dates, percent complete progress values, and I'm also going to bring in some new activities by changing their flag or filter value from a no to a yes. Now I'll launch OnePager and push the Update button to perform what we call a push update, which means I'm pushing data up into a project view that I already created. We're going to add a new snapshot, but first let's pause and talk about the difference between new and replace and why you might use one or the other. A new snapshot is something you'll want to add to a new slide on top of the original snapshot or slide in your project view in order to be able to flip back and forth between the two to animate the change that occurs so your audience can see the difference in one pager. This is the utility of the snapshot, the animation. Replace will take the updates you've made to your source file and overwrite the data you have in your existing snapshot. You might use this option if you realized you need to make some corrections to your source file to fix a snapshot you already created. So replace is used when you want to overwrite the slide you already have. There are three replace modes, dates in progress, all properties, and all properties confirm. The difference between dates in progress and the all properties options is that dates in progress will only refresh a subset of the fields from your source file which are displayed for your reference here whereas the All Properties options will perform a full refresh. The Confirm option will go value by value between your source file and one pager and say, this looks different in one pager. Do you want me to change it to match your source file? Yes or no. Let's go back and create a new snapshot a week later. So we'll click New here, and one pager will take a fresh look at our data and render a new slide or snapshot. First, I'd like to point out some change that has occurred in my new snapshot. One pager has added time on the right boundary of my time axis. Remember that I pointed out before my boundary ended in June of 2019. One pager made this change to account for the end date changes to my tasks and milestones automatically. Otherwise, I'd have shapes off the right hand side of the chart that I couldn't see. One pager also added this swim lane and rows to account for the items I added a yes value next to. Notice that I also have a previous button illuminated in my View tab now on the upper left, and if I click it, I'll be taken back in time to the previous snapshot. If I bounce back and forth between the two, you'll notice that I'm essentially animating what's changed from one report iteration or snapshot to the next. Again, this is the utility of the snapshot, the ability for you to animate the change, and you can only do this in one pager.
Let's stay on the latest snapshot where I'll highlight the time that was automatically added to my time axis and also the swim lane that was added to account for my new tasks. Notice that when I click back, one pager maintains the time axis boundary change and vertical space, which here in my new swim lane is empty. It's important to understand that this is how snapshots work. There is plenty of change that can occur from one snapshot to the next, either automatically or manually by using your mouse that might be inflicted on your latest snapshot that is occurring in all of your snapshots. Snapshots are not like a picture with your camera where the visual is frozen in time. They are a living, breathing collection of slides that are all connected, and if you modify one, you might be modifying them all. If you have a lot of change to the things you're trying to present in your visual over time, that is to say, you have tasks and milestones dropping in and out of your visual with each report iteration, then snapshots might not be the best path for updates since your audience won't have a very meaningful experience if you're flipping through your snapshots and lots of shapes are dropping in and out. In that case, you'll be better served by buttoning up a template and creating a new project view every time. Or you can version off a one-pager project view that you've already created that contains a single snapshot and then perform an update replace all properties against that new version of the document. Outside of a push update, you can also initiate a pull update from within the data tab on the ribbon. In this case, you're asking OnePager to go retrieve data from your source file or pulling it in without having to leave the OnePager editor. The same options are available to you if you click the custom update button here. Please visit our other videos at onepager.com forward slash support or reach out to us at support at onepager.com and we'll be happy to assist you.